Friends, I believe in, because I do a lot of editing and a lot of sitting at that desk sometimes, like, well, not sometimes, quite a bit. But, um, and I got a dentist at three. Well, I'm not gonna waste the time that we have right now with no rain and whatever. I got Lisa's wood there a bit still left. We're, we're jagged. We're fun. Well, no, I, I shouldn't say that. I could bring wood there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave that shed alone now. But here's a cold start on the home light. Uh, th this is some of, uh, of, of Tin Man's finest work by far. And if you ever get so lucky in your life to get him to build you something of this nature, uh, he's more into the older stuff, which I think Tin Man will go into the newer uh, genre stuff at some point. But this is an interesting saw. But these, once you pour an old saw, friends, it changes things. You got to learn the saw, just because it, like there's humidity. There's it's it's old technology. This is a cold start. This saw has not been run. I hate to say it, but I think a couple months. It's been sitting there. Cold start. that under there. This is the thing. You let them sit. All the gas goes down, drops down and out of the, the carb. So there's nothing in there. There it is. You see, it's just, that's normal. For these old things, it is. So I gotta choke it again. Now I'm gonna go half choke. Okay, no big deal. So you see what I mean with those old suckers? Okay, let's get a spare. Always take a spare when you go out cutting, always. Not just grab a saw and go, oh, I'll be all right. It'll 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 wreck you. It'll wreck your freaking day, friends. Let's take a spare. Let's take, uh, you know what? To be honest, I have not run, I don't know if this is, I don't put my saws away dull, so this 81's going to get run this year, friends. There's, now here's another saw and then we're leaving, we're leaving, okay? It's vintage saw day and we're going to go cut up that top. There's not much there and I ain't got much time, so we're going to go and then get back and go to the dentist, covered in sawdust probably. Okay. Super Pro 81. Now, you want to talk about not being run? This saw has not been run for a long time. Like a long time. So, I like to let's see if we can stick these dogs under that little sucker right there. That holds that in there pretty good. Let's choke it. I guarantee you we need a choke. We Here's the thing with these saws. I could use compression button right now and I probably see I'm not the greatest. I'm better doing it old school. Like, I'll, I'll be very honest, it's easier for me to start a saw. I can do this, but it's easier for me down and throwing it away. So anyways, um, I could use our, our compression button, right? Look at this thing. Oh, no, we're not doing it. I, I'm, forget it. We're doing it like this is what we're doing. And I don't like using compression buttons sometimes because I think it takes slower for the for the gas to get up to the carb. Just my my own thoughts. And it doesn't allow you to kind of. So you know what? Forget you. 
I'm not doing a compression button. Now I can lift it up and hold it like this. See? And it gets fuel better. Is it harder on the starter? Yeah. Let's go. It's not much wood, friends. It's not. But I, I want to go get it before it gets real snotskies out. Now, this this thing could be sharper. There's no doubt about it. Okay, this has never been touched. It's a bone stock chain. So what I'm gonna do, friends, I'm going to. It's not, I don't like doing it, but I know the saw. And uh I could grab the uh the raker gauge, but guess what? I'm not going to. I'll show you what I'm gonna do instead. Watch what I do. Okay, watch. Thumb in front. One, 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 one. See friends, I'm on a 45. I It, it hardly squeaks, friends. Okay, so don't file your rakers straight across because you'll get this, watch. Did you just hear that? Just go on a 45, will you friends? It's so much easier, quieter on everything, the file. So this is one stroke with my thumb on the tooth so I don't hammer the tooth. So this is gonna make this power saw bite just a little bit harder than stock. But it's scary, you don't do it on a ground chain. If I was gonna grind this chain, I would not do what I'm doing right now. I just wouldn't do it. I can see they're shiny, friends. They are, the rakers are actually shiny. That means they're, they're hitting the wood, they're, they're contacting the wood, okay? It's cold. It's been cut, there we go, we're done, bang. Full house 32 inch chain. Time that, what did it take? One minute and 32 seconds? Over, let's go cut. So, we don't really, well, there, gurgle, 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 and there we are, shiklang, thanks for coming along, I hope you enjoy yourselves, I know I'm going to. I don't need any gas, that's all I need right here. Two full tanks of gas, oil, we're good, let's roll. Friends, I forgot to show you one thing. And we gotta talk about it. That, right there. Okay? It's coming, I forgot. It's coming, I forgot. 
that over there? Where? <laughs> you! Oh. Look at her, hiding in the birch trees. We got a special treat today. Yes, indeed we do. Interjection time, friends. Good afternoon. Just came back from looking at kind of a bigger job, uh, local job. We've worked for the man before. I've got another video, friends, but I don't, there's too much content yesterday I got to make this all, you know how I go, I don't wanna just speed through things. We did a little, we did one more little bit of cutting as you can see right there. That's the end of it for Lisa's firewood in the field there, friends. I did that actually before I'm showing you what I showed you right now. Anyways, regardless. Friends, if a lot of you's got uh, old Macs that you're playing around with, um, as you know, I do a bit of tuning. I like to tune my saws. I like to, they change from the winter to the summer and everything changes. That's why I like to have my little handy dandy screwdriver with me. Um, you'll notice here, friends, um, I used to like to run it on the ragged edge all the time. Like my buddy, Robbie, power saw Robbie. We both like him up there, but you know what, friends? Take him there, take him there. As long as it doesn't give you a sign like where, where you'll, you'll feel it in the wood, friends. Here's my suggestion to you, and I do it here, and I'll show you how to do it. Set it. Sing it way up there. That's what most guys do. They go, Wee! get it way up there, and then back it off till it starts gurgling. That is a good place to start. But guess what? Put it in the wood. Cut with it. Then... This is my suggestion, especially on the older vintage stuff. And I never used to do this. They're strong. Run it in the wood. Then stop the saw. Crack it back an eighth turn more. Open it more. Give it more fuel. Fuel makes power. Right? So that's what I do here. And the saw will last longer. You've got that peace of mind when you're in that big cut, right? It gives you that peace of mind that you got. But, but if that saw shows you when you're cracking wide open and it, it sputters or kind of hesitates, knock it off. You will, you will blow the saw up. You'll roast it. You'll cook the cylinder and the piston in it. Piston first, probably. Anyway, let's get back at this. But this is interesting. I do a little bit of tuning and then we're just going to carry on to the next video, which will be tomorrow. <laughs> I, it, it hardly squeaks, friends. Okay? So...
Friends, I'm just on the back of the tailgate here doing a, a, a tuning, actually. I, I just finished a tuning video for you guys, gals, women, and children. It's a bone stock Mac, okay? And I just finished doing a tuning video. It was about 16 minutes, and you know what it started as right now? Because in the video right now, I'm tuning. I, I tune the saw, and I'll show you what we do. This saw's freaking on the ragged edge almost. It feels like it's there, but it didn't show me any signs of leaning out, nothing, but it is pulling. So do I leave it there and have that feeling like, whoa, wow, man, this thing's, or do I, do I give it a little more fuel? What's the difference? You might as well, is kind of my thoughts with these old vintage, beautiful power saws, okay? But I just did an extensive freaking tuning video on this saw right now that will come. I was gonna start it as one of these um, interjections, but guess what? I went for 16 minutes and I'm not doing that to you. So that's to come next extensive back at it this thing's running freaking crazy right now and i cracked the rakers on it it's pulling that freaking 32 inch bar full house actually with a hungry chain <laughs> just looking at birds all over the freaking place let's get back at it what a gorgeous rendition of a power saw
Friends, it's important to put some load on the saw when you're tuning as well. You need to load it up a bit. Don't just lay it on their saw. Put the dogs in there, lift up on a bit, load the saw so it needs to consume fuel. That will tell you if you're lean or fat. That is an incredible. So I was I was up there, friends. It was on the ragged edge. And I, I like that saw once in a while when it depends on what I'm cutting. Friends, balsam is softwood, yes. It is softwood. But I'm telling you right now, that is it, it's it's big, friends. That is a big tree. This is full house, friends, and I believe it's a grind. So put that together for a second. A full house grind, no, no, full house chain, sorry. That's that one we hit the rakers with at the house, friends. So that's a brand new chain with a swipe on the rakers. And it's hungry, you can hear it pulling, but that saw gra grabbed a hold of that log like it was taking it out on for a date. Didn't it? Yeah, okay, off to the dentist. I wanted to get some time in outdoors today. So nice to be running. So friends, uh, Morgan's, Morgan's UFO works like crazy. It works like crazy, you can hear it in the saw. You can actually hear it in the saw. Let's go. Let's put this here like this. And that. And let's get out of here. Friends, thanks for watching. That was fun. Work hard, be honest. Super honest. And spread love this year. Catch you on the next one.